How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Avon. Today we're talking about a fishing game taking the fishing simulator market by storm. Of course, the game I'm talking about is Russian Fishing for everyone. A fishing game that's more than a fishing game, it's more of a true life simulation of fishing. You want to find your own bait? How about craft your own lures? What if you could use the fish you catch to create bait to catch larger fish? How about cooking meals from your fish and taxidermizing them to put up on your wall? Or something as simple as trolling with your boat? Well, Russian Fishing 4 has you covered. They have you covered so much, in fact, that they sponsored today's video to give you more information about starting your own Russian fishing game. So why don't you hit that like button and let's get into it. starting out Russian fishing for for the first time opening it up on your computer and hey let me paint you this picture all right you're a new angler you've recently arrived in Russia for the first time and no one is here to help you out fishing except for me of course but you're learning this fishing thing all on your own you're level one everyone someone hands you a fishing rod a bobber and a worm and says go fish you're so all you can do is just go to the end of the dock and flip that puppy out what then you catch a fish. You're immediately addicted, everyone. You head to your next fishing area, the Winding Rivulet. Someone hands you a spinning rod in your first lure, so you fling that out as well, because what else are you supposed to do? Maybe it lands a few feet to the left or the right, and maybe not as far as you ever hoped for, but you're not some master caster. This is your first time fishing. You start reeling it in, and before you know it, your line is moving to the side. You've got something on the end of your line. In a short fight later, and you've caught your first fish on spinning equipment. Now, this may not be a monster, but it's still worth something. And from here, you can head on over to the fish market to see how much it's worth. 47 cents. Now, 47 cents may not seem like a lot, and yeah, it, it isn't a lot, that's, that's for sure. But instead of selling, what we could do is head on over to the cafe. Now, many maps have cafes that would love to buy little aquatic critters from you instead of the fish market for top dollar. But they have a few extra requirements. For instance, just like the fish market, this cafe is interested in buying my perch as well as my gibble carp, but they only want it if I can sell them four gibble carp or six perch and 30 grams each on the gibble carp versus 974 grams on the perch and while that does seem like a little extra work if you can put this together and get four gibble carp above 30 grams or six perch over 974 grams you're looking at making $58.76 versus the 47 cents you would have gotten from the fish market these cafe orders should be your missions that kind of get you from day to day you should go to the cafe and see what kind of fish they're interested in buying from you and then specifically go out and target Target those if you're looking to make some extra money. And after a few fish, you'll have leveled up. And in Russian fishing, this actually means more than just unlocking a new place to potentially go fishing. Picture leveling up as your character gaining confidence or experience in angling and ready to put that confidence and experience into something they enjoy doing or perhaps learning something new. Take this spin fishing skill tree, for example. In the top left corner of the tree, you can see your overall experience in spin fishing represented as a percentage. Now, as we fish in Russian fishing with the spin equipment this percentage will go up unlocking new skills for us to potentially put points into or just learn new things now skill points start by giving you one per level until you reach level 19 and then at level 20 you start receiving two skill points per level three at level 30 four at level 40 and five at level 50 now according to other people in the community Russian fishing doesn't have a level cap it just gets harder and harder to level up as you go on just like any other game but it is important to spend your skill points 
wisely. And while on the topic of skill points, in the top right corner we can see our available skill points which we can apply to any of these unlocked skills down below. Some of these skills that we can unlock and put points into allow us the knowledge to try new types of equipment, such as this low profile baitcasting reel here. Because we all remember our first time using a baitcasting reel. <laughs> Or in the case of harvesting baits or cooking, we simply unlock new things to do along the way without spending any skill points at all. This can be something as cool as harvesting fish meat or harvesting frogs or perhaps cooking baked apples or a salmon steak. And speaking of salmon steaks, let's talk about your character's status bars. Now as you're playing Russian Fishing 4, you may notice that your level as well as your experience are shown just right down here in the bottom left corner. And just over to the side right here, you can see that there are four status indicator bars that show how your character is feeling. These four bars represent your energy, your hunger, your health, as well as your comfort level. Now each of these have an effect on your character's ability to perform activities as well as just go fishing for fish. And although this seems like a hassle right now, this honestly adds a really cool portion to Russian fishing that you don't get to experience in other fishing games. Your energy status indicator represents your character's ability to fight fish and perform activities. The lower your energy level, the weaker your character will be while fighting a large fish, as well as their ability to perform any sort of tasks such as crafting or digging holes for little worms or perhaps running long distances. Now your food status is fairly simple. Keep your character full and happy and he'll keep his energy up so that you can continue doing tasks. But let's be clear here, you don't always have to cook a meal to satisfy your hunger. At any time, you can run on over to the nearest grocery store and purchase some cheap bread to keep your character full and happy. Now your health indicator represents your reserve of energy. So if your health begins to drop, then you'll have less energy to perform on tasks. So make sure to stay away from bears. And lastly, your comfort level represents your character's need to stay human. Staying out of the rain and not carrying so much heavy equipment around will keep your comfort level up high. Now your comfort level can drop when you're in harsh conditions or if you're in some sort of worrisome space such as a dark forest. But if you spend some minutes standing next to a fire and eating some warm food, your comfort level is sure to rise as well as your energy. But with those basics out of the way, I think it's high time we start highlighting some of the awesome fishing experiences you can find in Russian fishing. Now first off, I'm sure many of you are looking forward to hearing more about trolling, and no need for to spare me, Norsk Venner, these are not actually trolls. This is the art of trailing a lure behind your boat. Now you can do this on pretty much any body of water that you have a boat that you can rent and you have enough room to trail a lure behind, of course. And although there is the archipelago map which has a ton of water that you could be trolling around in, and Quarry Lake is a perfect opportunity to try out some trolling action. As you can see, some of the reels in the game were actually specifically meant for trolling and show you the distance that your lure is trailing behind on the boat right on the reel. Now, when this rod has a big bend in it, we know that we have a fish on, which means we can stop the boat, or if it turns out to be a very large fish, we can actually use the trolling motor to chase after the fish to make less tension on the rod. But just to give you a little sneak peek at this archipelago map, it is amazing. Truly, the first time other than the Fishing Barren Sea series that I felt like I was away from land and the ocean, and uh, makes me excited for a possible ocean map in the future, if that's on Russian Fishing's radar. Now I know some of you may be more of the bass fishing type, and there are a lot of fish in the game that you can catch with lures. In fact, when it comes to lures, you can even invest skill points into learning how to create your own lures to specifically create create a lure with certain size hooks or maybe a trailing flare of some sort. You can honestly just let your creativity flow. Just do whatever you think looks good and might work best. And when it comes to using a basic spinning rig or perhaps maybe a Texas rig or a jigging rig, it's as simple as clicking drop down arrow and choosing which one you want to use with your setup. Right now I'm targeting pike in these reeds with a jerk bait and a bait casting reel and it's working just as I expected. Pike after pike after pike. In fact, this one was so big it finally just broke the line. I guess that's one fish I won't be hanging on my wall anytime soon. Or for those of you who are after river monsters, why don't you try chasing down one of the many sturgeon species in the game, or perhaps targeting a Wells catfish going well over 200 pounds. All it takes is a little patience and know-how. And if you fancy yourself a Danny Fairbrass or Alan Blair type character, why don't you chase down one of Russian Fishing's 18 different variations of carp in the game. And with many modern rigs in the game, there's a good chance you can use in the game what you also use in real life. 
I think what I enjoy most about Russian Fishing 4 is the attention to detail when it comes to fishing, and that's simply because this is a fishing game made for anglers by anglers, and that's a game I can support. And while balancing the game and all the different rigs and lures may always be a challenge, the Russian Fishing 4 developers say they are open to suggestions from their player base and love interacting with their community via the in-game chat or perhaps the Russian Fishing 4 Discord, so I will make sure to leave an invite link in the description so that you can join up. Unfortunately, even though the game is absolutely free, free to play, it is only on PC at the moment, but they do say that moving the console isn't off the table, so make sure to join the Discord and follow the news to see when Russian Fishing may hit console. I'm looking forward to playing more Russian Fishing 4 in the future as we start our new beginner series within the game, so make sure if you can, download the game and follow along and we'll just find out what all this game has to offer. But I hope that this gave you a decent rundown of how to get started within Russian Fishing 4, as well as what your daily goal should be as you start to catch more fish, sell them, and start buying new and improved equipment. If you have any questions at all or suggestions of something I should cover in a future video, make sure you comment it down below and I'll do my best to answer you and see if it's possible to do. But until next time everyone, hit that like button and subscribe for more future content. Check us out on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central and look forward to future videos everyone. Take care and as always, remember, we're one planet, one family, game on.